Would you agree that this would be the best place to hide a body? How many chicken fingers before it becomes a chicken fist? Hey guys, can I harass you on camera? Well, howdy folks, and welcome to Beer and Back Again Festival Edition for the summer. We're here today at Brewery and the Beast. We're gonna be here today filming what Two Rivers Meets as well as harassing people at this festival. So what is Brewery and the Beast? Brewery and the Beast is a yearly festival held across Vancouver, Calgary, and Victoria to showcase all the best butchers, smokers, cooks, and protein from farm to table. While this event brings the most mouth-watering morsels of meat, it also celebrates the world's favorite beverage to pair it with, beer. My name's Carly Greenhill, and I get to work with 17 Black Events to put on this wonderful Brewery and the Beast Vancouver edition. Well, thank you again. And can you tell us how many years has this actually been running now? Oh my gosh, you think I would know like off the top of my head that it's like, oh, this is year 10, but it's been like close to a decade. Really? That's incredible. What would you say that everybody's favorite uh, places are? Okay, so we love all our chefs equally. However, Chew Rivers has been with us for a very long time. And I have to say it's very coveted that Two Rivers will take out their beautiful tomahawk steaks with those gorgeous bones. People, they get a little wild for that. Uh, there were some really good tacos. What's the place right there? I, can't, I forget the name of the place, but right there, good tacos. Right there, you heard right it. There. Right there, right it goes there. there. You heard it, right there is serving the best tacos today. Yeah. So what brings you here today, Brewery Beast, besides the love of meat and beer? Any other reason? Him. <laughs> yeah, I brought him. Uh, my dad came a couple years ago and bought me tickets for my birthday, and I said, yeah, it's, it's, it's meat and beer. What, what more can I say? It's, I wish I had another reason for it. I'm here to eat meat, and only meat. Pro tip, do not eat any of the vessels that the meat travel in. Just dump the meat out onto your board. Slows you down. Absolutely slows you down. Don't even waste time with carbs. I'm keto today. Oh, so the best kind of diet. Yeah, just today. But also the beer, which is also part of the keto diet. Keto. Yeah, meat, yeah. meat and beer. That was a caveman yeah. diet, right? Keto. Yeah. Perfect. What are you drinking? Is that wine? Yeah, this is wine. This is all from Argentina today. I have a Malbec over here and I have a Cabernet Sauvignon here. Uh, both great. One's going to go, well, go well with a taco. One's going to go well with a steak. That's why I chose both. Very well informed. Where are you from? Why are you so informed on this? I don't know anything about anything. I'm from Kitsilano. <laughs> so one really stupid question for you. Okay, so this might be controversial. If a chicken wing is boneless, is it still considered a chicken wing or is it now a nugget? It's absolutely a nugget. Absolutely. Would you agree that this would be one of the better places to hide a dead body? Yeah, probably. You could get away with that. Yeah. It's all it's all the meat. Like what do you yeah. How many chicken fingers does it take before it becomes a chicken fist? Oh, that's a tough one. Four fingers. We're being, we're, your friend is saying five. You're no, saying because four. that'd be a, include the thumb. Oh, but with the thumb. Yeah, so you can't have five fingers. It's four fingers and a thumb. Four, fi four chicken fingers, one chicken thumb yeah. becomes a chicken fist. Yes. Hey, do you want to know one of my favorite jokes that yes. someone ever Absol told me? Yeah. Absolutely. Tell us your favorite joke. So it's someone. So this is something that someone told me. So we were walking home from the bar one day. And I have a girlfriend who turns to me and she's like, do you like chicken? And I was like, oh, yeah. And she's like, grab a wing. And so I just, and so I just grab, grabbed a wing with her to walk home. It was the cutest thing ever. <laughs> and that's a wrap. Thank you again to Rivers for inviting us out to the event, as well as a big thank you to everyone who let us harass you. Keep an eye out next summer for Brewery and the Beast. We'll see you next time and cheers.